had to pull yourself together. We have a leak coming up. Yeah, we may have something else coming up. I don't feel so good. There's another hurricane at the surface. Nemo has us close enough that it's rocking the Nautilus. Well, I have to take this. It's my friend Imogen. Hi, Imogen. Where are you? Hi, I'm right in the middle of downtown Toronto. We're off the east coast of Florida under a hurricane. It looks very peaceful where you are. This is Lake Devo. This is our urban pond. This is where we come to connect with the environment and see a little bit of water in the middle of the city. Right. Ryerson's got big ideas about water. Uh. Ned, just go to the bathroom. Tell us about your work, Dr. Cole. Ryerson Urban Water is a really exciting collaborative group of researchers who are interested in solving the, the water challenges in cities like Toronto. What kind of challenges? Well, cities are getting bigger and bigger, they're getting busier and busier, and as climate change is happening, we're seeing extreme weather situations and weather impacts, which are leading to things like flood and uh, aging infrastructure. And aching stomachs. Shh. Cities need to be able to manage their water, and they need to be able to get clean water and deal with wastewater, and that's becoming increasingly difficult. And so those are some of the challenges that we're trying to figure out at Rise and Urban Water. And uh, water your solutions. Get it? Water? <laughs> Forget it. Well, we've got a number of projects that are ongoing. We've got some people from uh, chemistry and biology who are working, uh, for instance, with engineered wetlands to look at better water management as it flows off the city, uh, city streets and into the lakes and rivers. Ah, I love the scientists. We've got some engineers, again, working with the city to see if we can improve ways to manage flood events. Um, and we've got uh, some people in uh, policy, political science, who are looking at, at the policy around managing the Great Lakes water supply and the cities that are sitting on the Great Lakes. What about non-scientists? What can regular people do, like Jules? Hey. Well, that's a very good question. Thank you. Everybody can learn more about water and how to conserve it and how to use it properly and how to keep it clean. I think uh, kids can really help to teach their parents. I think they can work in their communities. They can look after their own little watersheds. They can find out where their streams are coming from and where they're going. And they can just get really engaged with the environment and try and find ways to help make it a healthy environment for everybody. Sounds like good advice for anyone, anywhere. Look, the storm is getting worse, so uh, Imogen, I think we'd better wrap it up. Mobilis in mobili. Mobilis in mobili. Oh, Ned. Ned.